it comes to motorcycle, the Japanese and German manufacturer has always topped my list. This manufacturer gives me a sense of motorcycle that is built to last and with the powerful engines. And today we're going to be reviewing one of these brands, Yamaha FG250, which is recently launched in Nepal. Even it has been manufactured in India, the Yamaha has still maintained its quality and still lives on the legacy of being one of the most popular brand in Nepal. This bike has not changed too much than previous FG. Just slightly bigger, it has kept its simple look with a bit of aggressive, sporty style of sitting position with a slightly ahead position of handlebars and move a little back with the foot positioning to make it more sporty feel. And the seats are split for rider and the pillions which is not the softest seat, so it can be a bit of a painful on the longer rides. The seat height reaches up to 795mm with a ground clearance of 160mm. The actual weight of this bike is 148kg which makes it lighter comparing to its power. Also the handling and sitting position give you this easy handling feeling on speed and also makes it easier on the corners. And also the set of tyres of 17 inches, tubeless, front being 100 by 80 and the rate of 140 by 70 helps a lot getting a good traction on the road. The company claims the fuel efficiency can reach up to 40 kilometers per liter in this motorcycle and it does come with this massive muscular tank with a capacity of 14 liters which means you can spend a lot of time in a road riding than stopping for the petrol in the petrol station or the pit stop. They have used a telescopic fork for the front suspension which does not appeal too much for me after seeing all the upside down forks that comes in bikes manufactured these days. Apart from the looks, the suspension is on a bit stiff side and for the rear they have used monoshock being a popular monocross bike in its class. The Yamaha FG's engine and cycle parts are derived from the Phaser 250 sold in Brazil but gets Yamaha Blue Core technology and is BS4 compliant. FG250 is powered by 249cc single cylinder, two valve oil cooled engine, capable of producing 21 bhp at 8000 rpm and 20 Nm at 6000 rpm. Power is transmitted via 5 speed gearbox, not like other bikes with 6 speed in this range. This bike has been tuned for good drivability in road condition and traffic like here in Nepal. And for the safety measures, they have still used old school disc brakes of 282mm at front and 220mm for the rear. They do not have ABS system in this bike, but having a bigger size disc does help to make the braking more efficient and safer. One more thing I'm disappointed in this motorcycle is its instrument cluster. It's very tiny and contains less information which means you have to constantly press the button to get different information over the information it's showing at the moment. Though it had kept simple in looks, you get muscular, alien looking headlamps, which is fully LED, same as the backlight. After the huge success of FG150, Yamaha has launched slightly more powerful, slightly bigger, keeping the similar looks, FG250, and not only just because of its power, being low maintenance cost, it's been a popular bike amongst the stunt riders of Nepal. And Yamaha is flooding the market with this beast, so go and get yours. Yeah.